people of Earth, the following podcast is not real. And if you're running some sort of speaker or headphone cleansing program that requires you to run sound through it for about 40 minutes while you go and do something else to better yourself, you've come to the right place. This production will bombard your helpless sound system with mindless chatter, leaving your circuitry clean and bored. I'm told there are those who actually sit and listen to this. I'm also told there was a giant moth creature that terrorized West Virginia for about a year. To which I say, I have alibis for all of those dates. Whichever category you're in, I'm left with no choice but to say, sit back and enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. Nine years ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal through the dimensional rift, and I used that to upload a podcast recorded here in the Tavern the Wanderlost in the magical land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always, by my co-host... Chunt the Talking Badger. Uh, Bing bong. Oh, oh. Whoops. Oh. oh. Do you sit I thought we were switching up the order. Uh, never oh. mind. No, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Arnie, this is going to get confusing. Hmm. Usador and I decided... Sorry. Chunt okay. and I decided to switch names for a day. Chunt, oh. go ahead. Yes. I am well, and I am Chunt, the greatest shapeshifter who has e'er lived. Oh, there is no form which I cannot take, for the goddesses demand it that there be an animal that can be any animal he doth wish. Yeah. Okay, that about covers the chat portion of the intro, I think. And oh, Bing Bong. Oh, Bing Bong. Yes, Bing Bong to you as well, sir. I'm also joined by my other co-host, Usador the Wizard. Mmm, blue robes. Hoobastank. Wizard, wizard staff. Slime time. Slime time? I don't know. So man. wait, did you guys trade names or trade personalities? Or both? I guess it's just Don't names, know. but it's it's weird to have a name like Usador and not be wizardly, I guess, and not reference like wizardly things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, suddenly if you're Usador, you're gonna yell things like "slime time." It's one of my go-to's. Usador, what percentage of your personality is your name? I think I know the answer to this. Uh, oh, um, well, so, oh, um, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what percentage of my personality is my name? Um, one hundo p. Yeah, yeah. Guys, is, look, you know me. I'm totally game. I can roll with the punches. There's no one in the business better than me of, of going like you establish a premise and I'm going to go with it the whole time without without a hitch. I forgot that guy came in the bar and punched Arnie and he rolled so many times. I roll so many times with the punches. Well, See, I yes ended that whole premise right there. But uh, isn't it going to be confusing? For who? For everybody. Right, Chunt? Right, Usador? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fair. Um, Chunt, do you mind destroying the spell that... Sure, I can undo the spell that switched on Wait, there was a spell backing this up? Because I don't think you guys were 100% consistent. Uh, I think it was perfect. But... Oh, and I probably also have to do the spell. Yes, you should. Because legally, I'm Usador right now. Do the exact same spell. You said so what us at the ha. Nailed it. Woo. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm oh, uh, Call me Chunt, Arnie. Uh, Chunt? Yep. That's, yeah, that's me. Ha ha. Usador? I am Usador, wizard of the Toth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Trachus. The elves know me as Fiang Yalak. The dwarves know me as Zonin and Hookstanges, and I am known throughout the Northeast as Gasmanius Maester. And there may be other secret names. Names that if oh, you did air to let them cross your lips, most assuredly your eyebrows would grow into your hairline and your forehead would disappear. Previously known as Chunt. Arnie, would you believe with all the dicking around we're doing that there's two wars going on? Two wars, at least. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. And yet we choose to just talk about names more. Well, it's a, it's a sad time, you know. It's, it's Sometimes you need something to relieve that pressure yeah. of the terrible burden of uh, the terrible things going on in the world. Yeah, that's true. 
Arnie, I should say, you might, if you leave the tavern, you might see signs popping up all over. The Animal War officially has a name. It's called Sal. Sal? Sal. So it's Sea, Air, Land. Sea, Air, Land. Sal. Okay. Sal. Sea, Air. It's because it's, you know, because it's the sea. It's an acronym. The la- yeah, it's an sure. acronym. And you might also see some, some signs are saying Yard Sal. And of course, <laughs> Yard is an acronym that, that is standing for. Mm-hmm. That is standing for. We all know. Yes. Yes. All are determined. The R, And the R stands for R. Yes. All are determined. Sal. Huh, and it's because okay. everyone's sort of staunchly in their camps, mm-hmm. land versus yeah. air versus sea. Yeah. So if you see the war going on, you better call Sal. Um, yeah, I guess I hate to give that to you, but I guess I guess you're right. Hmm. Don't love it, but yeah, I guess, I guess you this are right. This conversation's breaking bad. Look, here's the thing. Stay with it. If you don't love, better call Sal. Stay with it. It takes a little bit. You're going to love it. Okay, you're going to love yeah. what I'm talking about. All right, yeah. Arnie, uh, how are you doing, buddy? I feel like no, doing one, okay. no one ever asked you. How are you doing? <sighs> Thank you for asking. Um, yeah, I'm good. You know, running the Wanderlust is a lot of work. It's hard to run a bed and breakfast that moves around all the time. People are very angry at me. Yeah, sure. Anyone that, like, tries to spend the night here is always very angry at me. They wake up someplace else. That's not yeah, what they exactly. intended. Yeah, that is not good. That is a real flaw in the business plan of this place, this cursed yeah. wandering tavern. Oh, and the walls are so thin, Arnie. I can hear everyone. Yeah. Fighting, eating, brushing their teeth. It's just mm-hmm. uh, the walls are too thin. Yeah, and last week we hosted that masturbator convention. <laughs> Excuse me? We did? <laughs> we did. You, you didn't know? Arnie, are That's you sure why? about that? <laughs> you just looking in the mirror? Well, something was going on. Something was going on. Arnie, what's this first place badge you have on your chest? What is that? Unrelated. First place. Unrelated. Hmm. MC, huh? Yeah, first place I masturbated. The Wanderlust. <laughs> Chunt, uh, Arnie's right. I heard them all night. They were up playing cards, drinking, telling stories about masturbating, some of their greatest highs and lowest lows, they the, wouldn't the best stop. places they've masturbated. They wouldn't stop talking about it. I was just like, guys, get a room and go masturbate, so I won't have to hear you did. talking about it. Oh, thank God a guest is coming downstairs. Uh, uh, over here. Do you want to have uh, yes, breakfast yes, over here? Yes, yes, can you just hide me for like 30 seconds, please, while this person walks by? And just Can I just hide under oh, one of you? Sure, uh, sure, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Sure. We, we spend a lot yeah. of episodes under this table anyway. <gasps> okay, they're gone. Okay, oh. thank you. Thank you so much. You three were the least threatening people in this bar. I really appreciate your help. Oh. Yeah, of uh, course. Well, yeah, uh, that's totally understandable. Uh, we three are here, our forces for good, uh, and, and you have very known unthreatening. Uh, very okay. unthreatening. Well, I yes. mean, we're threatening to the forces of evil. If you, if you were to do something evil, you'd see a whole new oh. Usador. Oh. I'm, Us- I'm Usador, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, evil is a relative term. <laughs> oh shit! That's his one weakness. <laughs> yes. Amb- amb- Ambiguous. Amb- amb- <laughs> Ambiguity right. always screws me up. I can't <laughs> even say the word. Ambivalence. Yeah, it's our, it's both of our weaknesses. Saying the word ambiguity. Are you oh. all philosophers? That was really deep. In a way. Oh, get a few drinks at us, and I guess we do yeah. start to talk too much. Um, uh, well, uh, we mostly just kind of run this bar and hang out. Well, what do you do, friend? What's your what's your name? What do you do? Oh, you're not Barretts, are you? The secret police of Harridan? Oh, no. We're, I mean, by law, if you ask secret police if they're secret police, they have to tell you. And we're not. We're not secret police. Oh. Before I answer, let me take off my hat and go through all my badges. Okay. Let's see. I'm a, I'm a sheriff for uh, the miniature people I, of Waterfall. And let me take out my paintings here, my mini paintings, and go through all my badges. I'm deputized in a hog's face, but that got destroyed. Long, how long ago was that, Ani? Four years ago? At least. Uh, this is Doris. She's a oh, nice model. She's beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying thank you. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> yes, I, I'm not a member of the secret police. I, I think you're safe here. Uh, very well. My name is Lady of the Garden, Tabitha Parsley. I'm on the run. I practice the dark arts of women's health care and 
have been banned from Harridan, and if I go back there, I will be burned at the stake. Oh, that's terrible. I... Uh, why would they uh, ask you not to perform such an act? It sounds like an act of kindness and consideration. No, to them it is a woman's duty to die from a number of gynecological problems. Oh, and yeah. I've spent many days in the garden learning of different herbs that can heal a woman and bring her back. Or, you know, give her a choice if there's certain sure. things she doesn't want for her life. And it was discovered that I was practicing these dark arts, and so I had to flee, and I'm trying to find a more accepting part of Boone. Uh, of course, well, well, you're welcome here, uh, obviously, and, and if there's one thing we're not ambivalent about, it's gynecological problems. <laughs> so... I'm also a speech pathologist, if you ever need any consultation. Oh, yeah. Why do you say that? What do you mean? What's, what uh, is, why do you say uh, that? You know what? Don't worry about it, but if it ever comes up. Yes, please, sure. I need help. Please help me. So you well, said that you were from Harridan. Now, we don't hear about Harridan much, but I, I, I remember, vaguely remember that it's kind of a little conservative, right? It's a little... I don't know what the term you would use in Foon is. Well, yes. About eight to ten years ago, it was a little conservative, and it was like, all right, I suppose if you're fiscally conservative, but mm -hmm. let people live as they would like... I'm cool with that, but in the mm. last eight years, things have changed dreadfully. Oh, yeah. well, uh, maybe we should uh, go on a quest to uh, o overthrow the king or, or to, um, I don't know, just get people the hell out of there. Well, a lot of people are crossing the border oh, recently uh, to get out. Oh, I bet they hate that inheritance. Border crossing? Uh, they do. There are certain tracking devices that they're putting in place to make sure that people, especially women, don't cross the border to, you know, make certain choices. Sure. Yeah, I, I can parse what you're saying, Tabitha Parsley. Uh, I like what you did there. I oh, like you. You, you all are yes, very, I like you. very, very, very kind. Very oh. kind. So how did you do, if you mind, don't mind my asking, what led you to a life of being a lady of the garden? Well, I practiced something else that they didn't like in Harrington. I... Oboe? I read books. I... Oh, read books. Hobo? You said you had practiced something you didn't like, so I assumed oboe. And I jumped in before you finished. I should have just... I should have just... Oh, yeah. I should have listened. I sh I'm so sorry. I didn't mean no. to cut you off. Tabitha, I also heard hobo. <laughs> I was so <laughs> confused. Guys, no hobo. I prefer the term unhoused. Yeah. Well, I just was a curious girl, and I liked to read... And I didn't like the other things that I was supposed to be doing, and I was actually banished to a garden. I had to live in a garden. Mm -hmm. I asked too many questions, and they said, Tabitha, now you live in the garden. So I grew up in a garden amongst the different herbs and learned of their healing properties. Wow, Arnie, this is something so unbelievably rare and special. I mean... You hear a lot of tales of, you know, uh, kids being kicked out of the house and they're raised by wolves or um, raised by bears or something, uh, and they become feral. Almost never does someone get raised by a garden. Whoa, yeah. what, a, what a special gift that must be. Yeah. It was. Uh, rosemary and thyme and parsley and sage were my mother's. That's lovely, uh, but I don't think we should discount the feral people who are raised by wolves and bears because they're happy... I absolutely agree. There's a place for everyone at the table, including the feral wolf children. Yeah, yeah I thought so. Sabbath, I'm so glad you agree because I thought Usador blew it. <laughs> I was concerned uh, that perhaps uh, being cast out into the garden uh, uh, was sort of a uh, punishment, but in a strange way, they gave you exactly what you wanted. More access to the ability to learn and grow and refine your craft and become an even better healer and uh, and practicer of medicine for those who need it so desperately. Well, yes, but the you see, the better I got at it, the more of a target that I was. Well, they got no one to blame but themselves then. I know. I was banished with the people, the men who dress as women in libraries for children. Oh, we were all no. banished together. Well, did you have an umbrella out there or something at least? You weren't just like sleeping on the ground, were you? Well, actually, I, I did used to sleep in the ground, but the, the I'm not going to actually use the term that we use, where I'm from. It's very derogatory. Oh, but sure. where I'm from, the men who 
dressed as women who were a third gender. They built a house for me oh. from their skirts. That's very from their nice. skirts. Yes, they built a shelter for me, so we found in Herodon this merry band of misfits, of healers and those who do not conform, built a shelter. We were almost, you could say, hobos oh. with houses of, made of gowns. That reminds me of a question I wanted to ask you from earlier. When did you start playing the oboe? Well... Um, you, 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 sir, I think um, you said that. She, I said that? I think you... Uh, let's take a break. Um, and when we come back, Tabitha, I notice both your thumbs are deeply green. Uh, I do want to hear more about that. Uh, sure. You got it. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern. So, Tab was a parsley. You know, you shared a lot of details about your life so far. And I think, like our listeners, the one that I'm most interested in is, what's it like living in a house that's made of gowns? Like, is that challenging? It was fabulous. Oh. It was sparkly. It smelled like a bath and body works in 1996. Oh. It smelled like cucumber <laughs> and melon. And there was love. It was filled with love. Oh, we didn't need nice. windows or heaters. We had love. Huh. Yeah. You don't have to heat a house made of gowns? Uh, probably specifically shouldn't. And a yeah. uh, house made of gowns is so long. Arnie, just call it a hogo. Of course, H-O is for house and G-O is for gown. Of course. Oh, oh yeah. of course. Yes. So, uh, it sounds like a fabulous place to live. Uh, very uh, beautiful and, and uh, welcoming. Uh, but were there separate rooms in this uh, hogo? No, we all lived together. It was, well, maybe a little communist, a little too communist mm. feeling for the powers that be in Harridan. So oh, sure. there were several bans put in place. And then when my extent to my healing powers was revealed, that's when I had to run away from Harridan sure. or face five to seven. I want to hear more about your powers, because I am very intrigued in gathering magical abilities from all over this land to help those in need. So please, can you teach me the magical ways of your healing arts? Okay, so, get this. If your head hurts, uh -huh. there's a bark I can take off of a tree and mm -hmm. boil it and uh -huh. give you the water, and it makes your head stop hurting. Whoa. Okay, that's a that's a pretty good one. That's pretty that's good. Uh, that's good. Right. Cool. It's kind of a potion. I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll write. I'll shot that down. Do you know what kind of tree? Do you remember what kind of tree that was? It was, uh, ibuprofenol, I believe. Ibuprofenol tree. It's the name of the tree. But when things started to change, then they said it was the devil that was making the tree oh. not have people's heads hurt. But it was just my knowledge. See. Okay, so, so this is a, uh, this is like a skill, more than like a. You don't have like, do you have spells? You don't need spells. I'd love to learn some spells. Okay, I've got another one. Okay, okay. great. Here we go. If your face turns mm -hmm. very red, oh, yeah. and it's hot out, yes, you can drink a glass of water. Okay. And you'll feel better. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Don't tell them I told you that. Okay. I, I, uh, we I won't. won't. We definitely won't. Um, do uh, you do you talk to plants? Like being being raised by uh, rosemary, thyme, and sage. Like, do you um, can you like talk to oregano and stuff? I sing to them. Oh. You know, skip the small talk and just go to the song. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh, We'd love to hear one. Can I just say, anytime there's a traveling band of musicians, they're always like, "Oh, Hogs Face! It's so great to be in Hogs Face." Oh, we went to that sandwich shop that everyone loves in Hog's Face, and people are losing their mind. And I'm like, shut up and get to the songs, right? I don't yes. want to hear you. Uh, it's it's just so so frustrating. Thank you, thank you for sharing that sentiment and cutting straight to the music. Chunt, I, I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me for one moment, Tabitha. Chunt, I have to call you out here. First of huh? all, 
Hog's face was destroyed many moons ago. And if we were ever to go from town to town, plying our trade, you don't think we'd pander? I guess we'd be little panda bears. Yeah, right. you're right. Um, do you sing the songs in, uh, in, in your tongue or in, or in the, like, the, the language of plants? The language of plants. It was my second language but became my primary language. Oh. I could sing you a song if you like. I would love that, yes. Uh, yeah, and, that'd be and, amazing. And you're going to sing it in, in uh, I guess it's... In plant. Plants, plant. just called plant? Okay. Plant. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I wrote all that down. I'm going okay. to boil some bark in hot water and drink it. Sorry, that frequency was unlike yeah. anything I've ever heard. Oh, yeah. Yes, they vibrate at a different frequency. Oh, Arnie, look, all the plants and flowers inside the uh, Wanderlust, they're starting to kind of shimmy. Yeah. Wow. And that one dog over there put its paws over its ears. Oh, that means he likes it. That song must have been a fucking bop. Everyone's, these flowers are losing their mind. Yeah, I was going to say, it sort of seemed like that song was total bullshit, but these plants seem to actually be reacting to it. Well, I'm the Katy Perry of plants. Oh, Arnie, oh, do you what? know do you know who Katy Perry is? One of the most famous uh, swordswomen. Yes, she could she could sing and fight with a sword at the same time. She would parry your blows, knock them away, and then with her shield she would hit you back, and then she would sing uh, a beautiful song at the same time. She really made a fool of those who uh, fought her uh, to I be able see. to sing and fight simultaneously. Although, didn't I hear that that sword fighter is back recently? Like, been a while and everyone's like, whoa, that sword fighter is back. I'm not sure if we're really loving their new moves. Oh, is that, is that true? I didn't is know that, that. Is that a thing? I did. Oh, look, Arnie. I had no idea. Oh, uh, T- Tabitha, you sort of look, all the plants and flowers, they've lit tiny little torches and they're holding them above their head and swaying it back and forth. Oh, I think they want to die. That's so sad. Yeah, they're going to set themselves on fire. Vegetation shouldn't have torches. I think they want an encore. Uh, well, all right. This is another very popular one. That's it. That was oh. it. Very popular with clovers, oh. oaks, other grasses. Mm. That's wonderful. Uh, I, I thought that one was uh, it was very uh, relaxing, personally. I, I could put that on to fall asleep to. Really? It's a song about death, but all right. Uh, Usador. Sorry. It it sounded different to me, and, you know, uh, out of context, since I don't speak plant. Arnie. Yes? You're from Earth. I'm from, yeah, I'm from another world. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty special. Would you ever be able to take me there? Do you think I would be accepted there? Well. And be able to practice my healing arts there? Okay, those are all distinctly different questions. Um... I have not been able to get myself back there in a really consistent way. I do think that um, would you be able to do like would you be able to do your magic there? I don't know if it would convert. Would you be accepted there? I think some people would love you and some people would be just as big a dicks as people in Harridan, if I had to guess. That sounds right. And Chunt and I have been back to Earth a couple of times, but mostly in the 1980s. Which nostalgia makes it seem like it was cool, but it probably sucked then too. Yeah, Tabitha, everyone's hair was so big. It was big hair. Big, big hair. I had to tease my hair out. It was huge. Really? Yeah. Oh, and Arnie, um, you should know, I forgot to tell you. I made a little, um, sort of like a little flashcard cheat sheet for all of our guests and put mm-hmm. it on the table here, kind of laminated it. And it just says, one, you're on a podcast. Two, Arnie's from Earth. Oh, good. Yeah, it's all the points that they need to know. Uh, Arnie, do they have lamination on Earth? Yeah, but it's not the same as this. What is it all over this paper? Oh, uh, Chunt, um, I'll, I'll, when birds are, are fed food by their mothers, their mothers chew up the food and spit it back into their mouths. And sometimes the little birds go, we don't like this food, it's lame. But then we take all that food that their mother spat out, then the baby birds spat back out and we cover things with it to make it uh, last longer. Oh, that's, and of course, that's called lamination. Yeah, because the, the kids think it's lame. Lamination. Yeah, oh, I see. Yes, of course. They lament the food. Exactly. So, time of the Parsley, if you were to get to my world... Yes. I think secretly the biggest problem might be, for some reason, people in my world, when someone is just a little 
two into vegetables, it pisses people off. I don't know why. <laughs> I, like all of the other stuff, there's there's other stuff that might be a, controversial for some, but for some reason, people on Earth get enraged when someone is just really into vegetables. I don't know what the deal is with that. Would they burn me at a stake? Hmm, good question. Maybe? They burn you for not having a stake. Or if you <laughs> went to, uh, Arnie, what was that place we went to? Perkins or something? Ponderosa? There, mm. they, they burnt a stake. It was well done. Yeah. It was oh, bad. yeah. They, yeah. They, here's oh. the thing about Ponderosa. They are going to burn that stake. Yeah. It's not going to be done well. No, it will be done well. Oh, it will be done well. That's It'll be well done, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's rare for them to do that. No, it, it, no. Unless okay, you're a medium. medium rare. If you're a medium, you could probably know they're going to burn the state. <laughs> yeah. Tabitha, does that sound like a place you want to visit? No, it doesn't. Yeah. To be totally honest. Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, yeah it's not Yeah, it sounds complicated. I don't, I don't know about the hair. I feel like that would be upsetting. Yeah. yeah. It sounds upsetting. Yeah. I mean, I think we could do something what you're doing here. I think we could, you know, just like kind of give you a big poof in the front and maybe crimp it on the sides. What do you think about that? Well... All right, and maybe you could get it to cover my face, because I really need no one to bring me back to Harridan. But you are a purveyor of medicinal arts. You need not hide, not outside of Harridan, for you are a gift unto this world. To you, I am. To them, <laughs> there is a warrant for my arrest oh. in Harridan. Well, Five to seven, and if I'm a repeat offender, They'll cover me with tars and then throw popsicle sticks on me oh, okay. until I die. Oh, wow, that could terrible. take a while. Yes. Take a long while. Yes. yes. Santa are watching kids eat the popsicle, uh, read the joke on the stick. Yes. Oh. Mom, Looking can I have a popsicle? And I, had to, I, don't, I can't help them. Yeah. I just have to listen to their whining until... I suffocate, because that is actually how you die. Your skin. Oh, yeah. right. Katar, yeah. yeah Tom. Right. What's the extradition like between Harridan and other kingdoms in Foon? And I guess that I imagine that if you're outside of Harridan, you're, you're, you're in the clear. But maybe, how often is it to get dragged back to some the terrible place you were born? Well, there's a special court in Harridan. And mm -hmm. they, well, it used to be a lot more balanced. But now it's completely balanced to more conservative side. I see, I see. And so they've rewritten the laws. And now there are these secret police who will go and try to find the people who have tried to escape. I see. So it's terrible. If they find me, they will throw me into a wagon <gasps> and bring me back to Harriton. Yeah, sure. In that case, we'll cover your face with hair. Makeover. Oh, and Tabitha, you've said a few times um, you'd be facing five to seven. Uh, five to seven. What? Five to seven thousand years. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. Whoa. That's terrible. So 2,000-year wiggle room? That's... Yes. It's quite a chasm. <laughs> yes. Yes. There's two, you have two millennia of parole Ooh. meetings. Wow. Wow. That's terrible. Just depends. And you'll probably be dead long before that, don't you think? Well, well with healthy living. There's a lot of trees and plants that have been known to live for thousands of years, you said. Oh, well, that's a good point. Uh, so are you actually a plant now? Your hair is kind of a hedge, right? Like, it looks like... A, a hedge. Uh, Am I crazy? Her, her hair is hedge, right? That is um, a succulent that is behind me. Oh. No. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Chunt has very poor depth perception. <laughs> it's true. He has a lot yeah. of great powers, but depth perception... Back up, buddy. You are too close. Back up. But depth perception, he's no good at it. And I haven't had too much to drink, Chunt. Don't tell me you're the one who can't see where the plant is. No, I am not a plant. I am just perceived as a witch. Yeah. But the truth is, I just understand how plants work. Oh. Yeah. So if I'm taken back to Harridan, it will be the end. So we have the whole issue of Harridan secret police coming after you, but assuming we can bypass that, Chunt, Usador, is there an especially progressive part of Foon that we could send her to? I mm. Northeast, yeah, is very accepting. Mm -hmm. uh, we are currently wanted there, though. Yeah, uh, they want to kill me, <laughs> specifically. Uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but they're pretty mm. accepting of peoples, uh, and I would say you'd fit right in there. Right now, a lot of wizards have locked down a lot of Foon. They're not particularly accepting of non-wizards 
and yeah. at all. So I guess it's not a great time to be like relocating in film. <sighs> I think I normally I'd say Mouse Town, but obviously with the the Sal going on, Mouse Town is not oh, yeah. the safest. I mean, here's the real issue. Um, in 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 my uh, in my opinion, Tabitha, wherever you go, the biggest obstacle you're going to have to overcome is when you eventually get an invite for your twentieth high school reunion. Because <laughs> I th- I think you have to go, right? Mm-hmm. Don't you? You have uh, to. Go. Yes, you have to. It's more a, a stigma worse than tarring with popsicle sticks mm-hmm. than to not go. Have you ever thought of casting a glamour on yourself that would make you appear to be an entirely different person? Hmm. I guess I hadn't thought about that. When you grow up with herbs, you tend to, you know, kind of just be how you are. Right. And let yourself develop organically, but I could hide everything about myself and go home to my reunion, I suppose. I suppose I could do that. I mean, I, I don't I don't want you to hide everything about yourself. Oh, yeah, but disguises could be fun. I just don't want you to get dragged away by the secret police, yeah. to, be, to be clear. Oh! Maybe a temporary disguise, like you pretend to be a man who loves meat. Oh. You know, unfortunately... Yes, we can make you look like Artie. Well... You could? Yes! Uh, uh, sure, yeah, if you want, <laughs> I, I think I can pull that off. I like vegetables, too. Can we trade cloaks? Yeah, Ani, give give her your uh, give her your jacket. Okay, here's my jacket. I just got this. And here, okay. let me feel your face. Let me feel your face, Ani, so I know the shape of it. <laughs> let me feel your face. Let me feel it. At this. Let me feel it. It's been All right. Different. You've known me for years. I think I, I think I can cast the spell now that'll make you look like Ani. But let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Fly, you fools. Over to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a patron of the show. For only $5 a month, you get access to all of our wonderful bonus content and material and ad-free versions of the show. And we're back. Here, wait. Let me feel your face one more time. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, Are you ready? Yes. This is going to be so freaky. Wait, is Arnie going to look like There's Lady no of the Garden for me to, the no, Parsley? We don't need me to get dragged away by the secret police. But we need to make it freaky. No, Chunt. They'll both look like Arnie, and you'll look just a little bit like Arnie. Ooh. Hmm. Get her off, Tyrone, the camp of Con Arnold, Tafa, the Tabatha, Parsley, Akath. I think that's it. Did it work? Uh, it's my face. It's fuzzy. I gotta say, great beard. Uh, Pretty close. Wow. Right? Chunt, what do you think? Wow, my hair. Look. Look. Oh, yeah. Look how tall my hair is. Whoa. Yeah. Looks pretty good. The white in your fur moved around a little bit, too. You got a little more on the chin there. Oh. Wow, look at us. Three Arnies hanging out. Three Arnies in the Isidore. I'm going to say, these beards are the perfect ratio of brown and silver. Oh. It's, like, intentional. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like a mistake. Yeah. Arnie, no, notice how um, I don't know. Tabitha said silver, not gray. Uh, very very oh, kind of her. Right? <laughs> well, I think as long as I don't open my mouth or oh. heal anybody, I might be okay for a while. How long does this last? Well, actually, I put a little magical spot right on your neck there. So you can uh-huh. just tap that. Oh, there uh, you go. Back uh, to yourself. Oh. oh, it gets you here. It gets you right here. It gets you right oh. there. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Yeah, that's fun, right? That is fun. It's like a little tingly. But you feel like the Ani is pretty good? Yes. How's the Thank penis? You. Oh, I, I... Don't rush to answer. I didn't get one. You didn't get one. Oh, I no, did No, I then. didn't. It's just, yeah, it's just... It's actually just the head, I think. Oh, okay. Well, you don't Usador, really need Usador, it. Usador, hands off. Hands off. Yeah, let me feel it. Let me feel it. Let me feel it. Okay, I've got some herbs if you need to calm down. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> I, I, honestly, if you could leave us a stockpile of herbs to calm you sort of down, that would be incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, I have multiple. Depends on what kind of calm you want. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He needs to sink into the couch. He needs, like, a, a downer. Oh, and in the couch. Got it. Yes, thank you so much. Mm. Uh, oh, also, while we're um, talking about sort of salves um, yes. for uh, for us three, 
Um, you know, Arnie sometimes wakes up, um, you know, he doesn't feel very well. And I'm ignorant in terms of, like, compared to your skills. I mostly use these leeches that kind of suck out his humors. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. Is there something other than leeches that I used to be so with? funny? Um, yes. Stop using leeches. Okay, interesting. Okay, that's huh. good. That's what I've been saying. I mean, that's what I've been screaming, frankly. Shut yeah. up, Arnie. Okay, there are these magical beans called coffee beans that you can roast. And then you grind them yeah. up and yeah. you pour hot water over them. And then you drink the tonic of the hot water and the beans in the morning. Mm-hmm. And that will make you feel better. Oh, okay. wow. so it's like you could also beach. look out your window and take a moment and say, wow, it's a beautiful day. And, and just appreciate something. That will make you feel better, too. Now, Tabitha, this bean potion, should I talk to Arnie before he's had his bean potion? Oh, no. Okay. Do not talk to him before he's had his bean potion. Hmm. I'll put that on a flask or on a tankard, just so I remember it. Yes. <laughs> Look, I'm very interested in the bean potion, but I have to ask, would one of the side effects be being obsessed with a bean potion, like never shutting the fuck up about the bean potion, like kind of making it my whole personality? Yes, there is a risk. If you do not already have a personality, it will become your personality. Oh, <laughs> You might also start listening to jazz okay. and talking about jazz when no one has asked you about it. Maybe it's nice just to have your bean potion out on the on the balcony and, uh, the veranda, you know, and yeah. enjoy your time. You know, there's a certain uh, ritual to grinding the beans. And oh, to, uh, no. To frothing the milks oh, no. that I assume you would mix into this bean potion. Uh, that's, you know. And then you have to figure out what grind settings you need oh, exactly to get the right grind, the right yeah. consistency. Tabitha, you've just um, told me about this process, yeah, but I feel like I'm already going to spend a lot of gold to try and get like the best it's grinding serious. machine. And like, yeah, real. got to. More so, other people see it and they're like, whoa. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I can be like, uh huh. Mm hmm. I'm going to warn you that some medicine needs to be in moderation. And if you go too far down the hole of the bean water, the hobby gets out of control and you mm-hmm. get maybe a ceramic slow drip. You will lose your friends. Hmm. Okay, and also, I'm sorry, you will not get a romantic partner. Ooh. Maybe for one night, but the next morning, they will not want to continue this. Sure. If you talk to them about it, you mm-hmm. you can say one thing, yeah. but if you say more than that, that is a red flag. It's a deal. Bro. Okay, so so guys, guys, yeah. let's let, let's right now let's set our limit: no more than eight hundred ounces of bean potion a day. That's sold, sold. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Tabitha, not going to be an issue. Well, the good news is I'm very lazy, and I don't think even a lot of bean potion is going to change that. Lady of the Garden, Tabitha Parsley, you've taught us so much here today. Let me take off my magical hat, reach inside, and gift you with a brand new oboe. Thank you. You know, you talked so much about reinventing yourself. Maybe I should just become an Arnie who plays oboe. Maybe that's my new chapter. Arnbo? Arbo. 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 Lady of the Garden, Tabitha Parsley is dead. Oh, shit. Arbo is born. Long live Arbo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, well, Usador, can yeah. I ask you mm-hmm. a quick question? Yes, How but let me touch your face real quick first. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah. what's the question? How often have you been turning people into looking like me? Because I could have sworn a couple of times recently, off in the distance, I've seen versions of me walking around town. I don't know. Oh, uh, everyone be cool. There's um, some constables just uh, burst in the tavern here. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, oh, they're, they're holding up a little drawing. Uh, sorry, gents. There's nobody who looks like that here. We only have a man who loves meats. Arbo. He loves the meats. He's got the meats. Well, he's got the meats. That's pretty good. He has the meats. Blast us a tune on that oboe. <laughs> Just made that up. Oh, is that jazz? <laughs> Clearly not the person you're looking for. Sorry, officer. Tabitha, can I talk to you about that song you just played for three hours? Mm, too um, much bean potion. It seemed like it was so inspired by, like, um, oh, just all the predecessors of jazz. Like, if you think about it, 
um, Tabitha, jazz is like, um, oh, I don't no. know, how do I say this? Um, oh, stop him, stop, stop, stop. Oh, now that I have this cool hair, let me put on a little sideways jaunty hat. Um, oh, no. Hey, oh. You, you, you have to save him. Arnie, do they have jazz on Earth? They do? I think you said that they had it in, uh, in that movie that you like, but they called it jizz. Stop. You, sir, my, my conversations with you about jizz are not for the podcast. It's for that masturbating club you're a part of now. I'm not a part of the club. It's first of all, it's not a club. It's a convention. Thank God we brought that full circle. I know how to make jizz disappear if you need it. <laughs> I've, got a le- okay. I've got an herb now for that. Now I've got my quill out. <laughs> uh, I turned all those uh, mm-hmm. secret police that came in here. I turned them all into ice and then I shattered them into a billion pieces. Mm-hmm. Is that is that helpful? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is incredibly helpful. Thank you. Okay. It's gonna buy me some time. Also, their drawing was terrible. It could have been anybody. There's been a lot of cutting of funding for the arts in Herodin, uh. so the quality of drawing has gone <laughs> way down. That tracks. Yes. Yeah, it's just sort of a stick figure. Well, they burnt all the artists, too. Oh, uh, terrible. Yes. That actually is the... I know the guy who drew those. He's the best they got now. Oh. Oh, um, how that? That uh, reminds me. You're, you're due some breakfast, of course, because um, you're sitting here with us. Uh, you don't eat meat. You probably don't eat plants because you're raised by them. What do you sustain yourself with? Yes. I drink bean potion and, um, okay, it's very specific, okay. but I have some chicken friends who lay eggs and they say, hey, you know what? I really don't want this one. Do you want it? And then I eat the, I, that's mm-hmm. that. Those are the Just eggs. Just the ones they don't want. Just the ones they don't want. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's that's, that's what I nice. eat. But I haven't eaten in three days. I've yeah. been on running from Herondon. What did I tell you guys? Birds are the best. I love birds. Look, I think it totally makes sense. But the people who Herondon who already don't like what you do, don't tell them that you're eating those eggs. Because they're going to have some wild theories about that. I won't tell them anything. Hopefully I never go back and I just start a new life as you. But... With you? me? No, as you. Oh, as me, okay. But yeah. with an Arbo. 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 Oh, yes. Arbo. Arnie, we talked about Arbo being a bigger part of the podcast. Oh, I didn't know. Just well, on days when you're not feeling it, we bring in Arbo. Oh, fuck, I'm almost never feeling it. I could compose a new intro song with my oboe. Could you compose an outro song? Here sure. All right, uh, let's hear it. Okay. One moment. Okay, let's see here. Oh, she's lowering all the candles. Okay. That's catchy. Mm. Ooh, jazz. Feels fitting. Yes, that could be your new outro. Oh, yeah. It's my gift for you saving my life. Thank you, Arbo. I'm happy to give you that outro. It's just what we do. We just save lives. That's what we do here. Does anyone else have any other ailments that I can offer some? Arnie, you're pretty messed up. What do you got going on? (laughs) I don't know where to start. Is chronic disappointment an ailment? Asking for a framing device. User of the Wizard was played by Matt Young. Chunk the Talking Badger was played by Adol Rafai. The Lady of the Garden was played by special guest Caitlin Barlow. Check out Caitlin's satirical momfluencer account, The Cleave Life, and the nonprofit she creates content for, Moms Rising. Hello from the Magic Tavern is an independent production, made possible by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. Supporters like Sean Martin, Stefan Bouchard, Heather Giuliano, Zach Woods, Sheridage, Grace Reamer, Hope Miranda, as in I hope Miranda eventually writes a sequel to Hamilton, the storyline is begging for it, Oedine, Matt Williams, Anthony Stephen Flath, and Bast. Yes, just the one word. You might even say, simply the best. Patrons get ad-free episodes, all the spin-offs, and at least two new bonus episodes each month. Here's a clip from the most recent episode, where Arnie, Chunt, and Usador try to understand some of the earliest Peanuts comic strips. So Arnie, uh, in, th- in this early iteration, everyone beats the shit out of Charlie Brown, they hate mm-hmm. his dog, let's kill this fucking old man. 
in the future, uh, 40, 50 years from now, from when uh, you read it, um, probably Charlie Brown, if he goes to kick something, he makes full contact, right? Uh, sadly, no. He doesn't even what? get that satisfaction. What? I mean, hypothetically, if he were like to kick a ball, let's say, just to okay, yeah, that's randomly pick an sure, object. Okay. If he would try to kick a ball, that ball would be pulled out from under him and he'd go flying into the air and land on his head. He's not long dead in the future where you're reading it. No, no. He's huh. cursed to live for 30 or 40 years. Same, exactly the, the amount of balding child. Oh, get a toupee. To hear the rest, even though the game of it was pretty well telegraphed there, and to learn more about supporting the show, visit patreon.com slash magic tavern. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adel Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Associate producer, Anna Hoverman. This episode edited by Chris Rathjen. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland.